Hi, church. With all the things that are happening in God's world today, I know there are so many things that can steal people's joy, can steal our hope, can steal our peace. And I do believe that God wants each of us to use our own experiences and our own reasons for the uh, hope that we have to encourage each other and to encourage the world. And so I hope that this brings some, it, some encouragement to you today. Earlier I was reading Psalm 62 and verse five says, I am standing in absolute stillness, silent before the one I love, waiting as long as it takes for him to rescue me. Only God is my savior and he will not fail me. This instantly took me back to a time in my life where I was hurting, I was lost, I felt hopeless, I felt devoid of, of joy, of peace, and I felt so far away from God, and I didn't even know how to get back to him. And so all I could do was lay in my bed in absolute stillness and silence and waiting to be rescued. And I cried out to God one day. I just said to him that I don't know how to get back to you. I was questioning who he was and his love for me and how he could let all these unjust things happen in the world. And I just said, God, if you really are who I always believed you to be, I don't have it in me to even chase after you and I don't know how to let you in. So break down that wall, break down that door. And that's all I said and he did. And in the weeks and months that followed, not only did he heal the hurt, did he restore my hope, restore my pain, uh, restore my joy from the pain, but he revealed all the ways that he had been with me through the whole process. He showed me all these beautiful ways that he had comforted me and guided me through that time and he brought me to a place of fullness that I had never known, even before the pain, before the loss. And so I just want to encourage everybody that we don't have to have it all together. We don't have to be in a place of perfectness or um, that sometimes we don't even have the energy to run after God. But Jesus says, said that he didn't come to condemn the world, but he came to seek and to save the lost. And sometimes his sheep get lost, but he will seek us, he will chase after us. So I just pray for us today that for those of us in our moments of emptiness, in our moments where we feel lost, where we can't feel his closeness or we are questioning or we're hurting, that God bust down those doors, bust down those walls, rescue your people. He did it for me and I know he'll do it for you. I love you, church.